He said, where did he say, I am God? John 14, 6. Read John 14, 6. Uh, uh, the meaning is that I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. That is the meaning of no, claiming that, that his divinity. I am God. That, that does not yeah, he said God. John 14, 6 is on the screen. Have a read again. He, uh, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. He said, he's claiming his divinity. No, no, complete, complete it. no one goes to the Father except through me. Okay. Who is the Father according to Jesus? God the Father. Who is God. Is God. Whose God is he? Everyone. Including Jesus? Yes. No, no. In the, they both are God. <laughs> yes, I mean, yes, also yes. God. <laughs> okay. okay, including including Jesus also. Okay, well, so Jesus has a God, right? Yes. How are you doing, Pinto? Hello. Brother. Hi. Hi. Where are you joining from, Pinto? From India. Okay. Uh, you got a question for us? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm a Christian. Say again. I'm a Christian. Okay. You're okay. a Christian, right? Hmm. What can we do for you? Yeah. Uh, I just want to ask about uh, John 14 6. What do you say about that? What does it say? Yeah, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And uh, can you say, can you explain why it cannot be or can be? No, we, we say I'm into that. Jesus was the way. And if you followed so, his. So, so way, hold on, hold on. Uh, Pintu, can, can you actually read the full verse, if you don't mind? Yes. Uh, oh, that, that's what it says. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no one goes the, to the Father no, except no, no. through me. You got ah, the okay. verse in front of you. So, Open it. So, 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 so you said, uh, I mean, uh, I am the way, the truth, and life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus is saying, I am the way, not the destination, right? He says, yes, no he says, I'm the destination. Father. No, he doesn't say the destination. Can Can you read the verse again? He's the way, not the. Yes. Who is the destination? Yes. He says, I am the destination. No. No. Can, can you read the verse, Pintu? Just read the verse verbal, like verbatim, word by word. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Keep going. No one goes to the Father except through me. So he doesn't say I'm the destination. He says I'm the yes, way. Yes, he said that. Can you not you have read? Like a comprehension okay, thing? okay. One second. Uh, can I say uh, the word truth and life is yeah, yeah. the meaning of destination? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, the, you, you're reading into it. He says, nobody gets to the Father except through me. Not, not to me, to the Father. So the destination here is the Father, right? Because it's through me. So Father is so not every... the truth and Father is not the life. I'm sorry? Father is not the truth, Father is not the life, correct? Okay, okay. so the Father... And, is not and the truth, to... is not the life. Father okay, is okay. not the life, correct? Pintu, 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 Bita. Listen, when I speak, you're going to listen. When you speak, I'm going to listen. That's why we have a conversation. You got it? Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. So, the truth is everything. The Islam, for example, when we say tawasu bil haqqi wa tawasu bil sabr, right? In Surah Asr, in the tafsir of haqq, which means truth, all of Islam, all of the orders, all of the prophets were upon the truth. So, no doubt, Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. Isa ibn Maryam, we love him. He was upon the truth. He was the way to life. He was the way to the God as the prophet of that time. If today he is here, he would follow the prophet of his time, the prophet Muhammad If I was there in the time of Jesus, of course, he'd be the only way to get to God. He was the prophet, right? If you go any other way during the prophet of that time, it's not accepted, right? Just like if you're a time of Moses, he was the truth. He was the way, right? So on and so on. Abraham and Isaac. And we as Muslims have no doubt about that. But let me ask you a question. Is Jesus God? You're muted. By yes, he said in, uh, yes, he said. Okay. He, 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 he said that. He said, where did he say, I am God? John 14, 6. Read John 14, 6. Well, uh, the meaning is that. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. That is the meaning of no, claiming that, that his divinity. I am God. That, that does not yeah, say he I said am God. John 14, 6 is on the screen. Have a read again. 
he uh, i am the way, i am the truth and i am the life he said he's claiming his divinity no, no, complete, complete no one goes to the father except through me okay who is the father according to jesus god the father who is god is god who's god is he everyone including jesus yes no no in the they both are god <laughs> yes I mean, yes also yes god. <laughs> okay okay including including jesus also okay so jesus has a god right yes can god have a god in uh, triune god we have a, we have three stop. persons as one god okay stop stop moving around first because yeah, we can't yeah, hear yeah. you it's too much listen uh, let me ask you something pin two simple question does god know everything yes you sure yes okay can you can you read mark 1332 actually i was asking from john 146 but you are taking I know, me i know i know i know i, I mark mark, mark 1332 well uh, i have to take out the bible i think oh you have a bible one second if i like, have but once on the screen for you no i'm taking out okay okay go ahead mark 143 mark 1332 Oh, I've never heard this before. Let me really? check. You haven't read the Bible before? No, it's like uh, no Mark 13. You haven't read the Bible before? Okay, you can you just say the Mark the reference? 13, 32. Yes. Mark 13, 230. Oh, okay, yes, yes. But part of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven. neither the son but the father so does jesus as according to you the son know the hour <laughs> actually i want to say something that you once had a conversation with uh, god logic about this one yeah i remember okay so did not he give you the answer he did not did you watch the video right him and yes i had a few different answers right Uh, Pin to tell me what precedence does God logic have over the Bible? Because the Bible right here is talking about the person. Hold on, hold on, Pin to. We're not going to let you jump here, okay? Yeah. We asked you a very simple question. If you want to watch the debate that I had, it's on the One Message Foundation channel. You can watch the full thing. I- I'm not worried about that. I'm asking you because you said God knows everything, and now yes. you read the verse from the Bible saying that Jesus didn't know the hour. So how could Jesus be God if he didn't know? What's your answer, Pin to? Are those the, the passages on Wait, the screen? I, no, hold, hold yeah, on. no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on, I'm being serious. Do you hear cricket? Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> oh, I hear crickets too. I thought that was like one of those like what Tommy doesn't give an answer and you yeah, hear you so those are it. literal. Those are literal. We're not editing just the literal yeah. crickets in your background. Okay, go ahead, Pinky. What's your answer? Mm-hmm. 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 So will you give your interpretation or what should it no, be? I asked for your answer. I'm not um, giving my interpretation. You said What what should I say? Um you should say God Jesus is not God because he didn't know the hour. That that would work for me. Or you can give me an answer. I mean, I'm good either way. But you said God knows everything. I just had you read from your Bible Mark 13:32 that Jesus according to you as the son of God the son did not know the hour. Okay, I can. So according to the definition that you gave Jesus cannot be God. Is that correct? Yes. All right, so Pintu. Now that you've admitted that Jesus is not God, what about him being a prophet of God who brought the prophecy from God? Are you still that into? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. You going to answer the question? Yeah, but Yeah, but no but what can I ask in the other way? No, no. Can you answer my question first? Yeah. But I I say I mean what I believe is that Jesus is God no, and No, no. It's not, it's not what you believe. It's what's in your Bible. You clearly just said Jesus is not God because he didn't know the hour and you said According to your definition God knows everything is that correct Pintu Actually I am not admitting but you are compelling me to admit that I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not. your book is compelling you to admit that Okay can I have some other questions if you want to or just if you allow me Here's the thing bro you're you're a Christian but you don't read your 
You don't read the gospel. You don't read your literature. Okay, will you help me out uh, with some questions well, I have? Question for you, man. Why are you a Christian? Is it because other people just told you and you just... John 14, 6. John 14, 6. What if I say John 14, 6? Because of that, I am... What about the yeah, rest that, of the world? That, that proves on, nothing on, about hold Jesus hold being God. Not all, man. John 14, 6, we just discussed, right? So the question is, if the Bible says that Jesus didn't know the hour, as you just read yourself, and you said God knows everything, so then would you admit, would you agree, would you be honest enough to say that according to that, Jesus is not God? Uh, uh, can I uh, give my interpretation if you want to? Yeah, go ahead. So do you believe that, before that, do you believe that every prophet is the way, the truth, and the life? Yes. For his time. Okay. Okay. So you just said that every prophet is the way, every prophet is the truth, and every prophet is the life, correct? Let, let me explain that to you, because maybe you're not understanding me. At, at the time of that prophet, he is the way to God. Meaning if you wanted to follow the commandments of God, if you wanted to follow the truth, if you wanted that everlasting life in the time of Abraham, you would follow Abraham. In the time of Moses, you would follow Moses. In the time of Jesus, you would follow Jesus. In the time of Muhammad, you follow Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. We love them all. We respect them all. That is what I believe, to be very explicit and clear. Okay, can I ask questions regarding Muhammad or should I give my interpretation? You're just jumping from subject to subject. Okay, so what should I do now? I just wanted to give my interpretation, but you are not allowing me. Should I? Into, into, into. Very simple. Okay, what should I do now? I'm telling you. I mean, if you want to ask me what you should do, you should testify that there is none that should be worshipped except the one God, the one that Jesus worshipped. Yeah, before I should get some worship. clarifications from you and... Yes, sir. Go, go for it. What's your question? Okay, if uh, uh, if Muhammad is the way, if Muhammad is the truth, Allah, and Allah. if Muhammad is the life, correct? Okay. So how can Muhammad be the life when he himself is not having the life? Okay, so for example, Abraham, according to you, Jesus died, right? On the cross. Of course, and he rose from the dead. Okay, so when he died, was he still the way, the life or no? Yes. So how could he be the life if he died on the cross, according to you? His divine nature always existed and his physical body died. and, and so. so you're saying even when he died, he was still the life? Yes, divine nature always existed, I said. Okay, so so death doesn't take you away from being the way, according to you. Um, You're caught in your own trap, right? I'm still hearing crickets. Yeah, I do hear the crickets too, yeah. It's interesting. I mean, it's so funny because I would like be a it's, meme, it's but those are actual time. crickets. By the way, in case you watch this, we didn't add those in. I think you're getting from my side, I think. Exactly. Yes, we oh, definitely are, okay. man. Definitely from your side. Law. That's a kind of long moment. Maybe that okay. could be a time. I, I, I got to get going, but listen, listen. Pintu, what about the belief that there's only one God? Okay. And I do that, believe. Okay. And that God has no son, no daughter, no, no sharing power with any demigods or any of that, right? Yes. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so do you, you do realize that, for example, can you read John 17, 3? I know that. Okay, just read it. Uh, it says somewhat like... Just read it, read it. Yeah. The one true God, somewhat just, it says. Can you read the verse? Let me go. Thank you. And Guys, this is life eternal. The crickets are not from our side, it's from his side. I go ahead and this speak. is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So what the only to true level? God, the only true God sent Jesus Christ. The only one, the only true God sent Jesus Christ, according to the Bible. John 17, 3, right? Yes, yes, yes. You can go ahead. So then, Pintu, do you agree that there's only one true God and it's not Jesus because he's the one that sent Jesus? Peace and blessings be upon him. Well, uh, so but, uh, verse 2 says something. Go ahead. Read the verse. Uh, 
the verse 2 says that he has the power over all flesh jesus has the power over all flesh read the verse john 2 second verse second verse yeah, it doesn't negate power. this one that's what i'm saying even if jesus during his time had power no no, no. read the verse because you're you're misquoting it as though hast given him power over uh, all flesh that he should go to the father <laughs> so the power is from who power from god the father ah so when god and has an authority or okay, a power okay. so here uh, jesus says hold that on, he has hold on hold on into into sabrun jamil when you're saying that god gave it to him whose was it to begin with it was from god the father so if god the father is the only one that has the power to begin with to give that means jesus by his nature didn't have it right okay go ahead so so that actually shows that the power in itself is god's only if god grants power to a prophet a miracle whether it's giving life whether it's healing the sick whether it's splitting the moon whether it's splitting the ocean whether it's not being burnt by fire whatever miracle god gives solomon was given authority over the whole earth even over jinn and and so on and over animals and he could speak their tongue and he could command them those are things given by the creator by the one god that actually proves that jesus wasn't god because if he was god he wouldn't be given something it would already be his right uh -huh. you've actually proven the point by quoting the second verse and the third word makes it very clear because you want to be in context that there is only one true god and that one true god sent jesus we have cowboys here <laughs> that's my son by the way so mashallah okay <laughs> howdy all right so pintu uh, are you ready to accept Islam? Uh, well, uh, can you answer me the last one? You, you did not answer that about regarding Muhammad. I, I did, I did. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is the truth, is that he is the one that brought the haq, no doubt, in the sense that he is the one that brought the true message. He's going to die from this worldly life like every Prophet dies, like Jesus okay. will die at his time, like Moses and Abraham will die. The one that never dies is Allah. Allah is ever living. Right? That doesn't mean that the prophet and the message is not the truth, it's not the way to God as the Bible and the Quran and so on mention. So so there it goes. Can I can I just one second? So there sure. it goes. I, I just wanted I just asked, but uh, do you still believe that Muhammad is the life? Because he is not having a life, but still do you believe that is yeah. he the life? Once again, just like you said about Jesus that when he died, there is a nature to him that was still alive, right? But still he's still alive, right? Hold on, hold on. We believe that the, even the prophets, they're alive in a barzah. Okay. Can you listen, bro? Take it Yes, easy. yes. There you go. So when we talk about life, there is a hayat dunyawi, the worldly life, and then there is the barzakhi life, the life of the grave. You don't finish. Like there is an everlasting life, right? Which is the akhirah, right? So the Prophet wasallam is not like he's finished. No, he's in his life of the grave. It's called the barzakh, right? As the shuhada and as the other people are alive in that life, and they're going to be life living forever in the Jannah, right? So in that sense, the Prophet ﷺ is the truth. He brought the truth. What the risala that he brought is haq, no doubt to it, right? And all the truth is from Allah, al-haq, the ultimate truth. So every Prophet was upon the truth. Every Prophet was bringing the way to eternal life. Every Prophet was bringing the way to the to the one only God, as the Bible says itself as well. And if you believe in the Bible, then you should believe in that. So my my question to you is, why not believe in the one God that Jesus believed in? I do believe, I do believe. Okay. So pray to only that one God as Jesus did. Do you agree to that? Yes. And believe in Jesus as a prophet, as the Bible says. I think I need to study and... Uh investigate hey pintu can you open up uh the bible john 2017 please maybe this might help you with your studies john 20 20 verse 17.
Yes. Can you read that out loud for us, please? Um, Jesus said to her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Does Jesus have a God? Yes. Can God have a God? Of course. So, again. Can you have so, a God? What? Do you just have course? Burns in the sense. In what sense? So, no, man. In no sense can God have a God. Oh, okay, Pinto, in what sense? Uh, so what we Christians believe is that uh, Jesus took the human nature and three persons in one God. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does, does the Father have a God? Yes. Who's the what? Father's God? What? Hold on, hold, hold on. Hold. Who, who's the Father's God? Let him dig. So we Let believe him. that we believe that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Father who's has the, the who's three who's persons. The father is God. Does the Father huh? say my God to anybody else? They are three persons having equal divine nature. Pintu. Oh, equal. Okay, so that means everything that Jesus can do, the Father can do, the Holy Ghost can do. Yes. Okay. So why did Jesus pray to the Father, not the Father pray to Jesus? His divine nature prayed to the Father. I mean, his human nature prayed to the Father. So, so when Jesus, for example, didn't know the hour, and the Father did know the hour, how can they be equal? And Pintu, pay close you're, you're, attention you're to what the shape is you're asking you, man. Because in the Bible, it says the Son, okay? Especially when it's talking about in Mark 13, 32, and the verse that he gave you in respect to knowledge. He's talking about the Son, which is the person. So it's not about the nature of it being divine and human and this, that. It is literally addressing the personhood. Okay. Let, okay. let me just ask one last question. I got to jump off. I got people waiting for me, all right? So can you read John 14, 28, Pintu? One second. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I go to under the I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. You said they were equal. And again, Pintu, this Pintu? is just us showing you from your own book, man. We're not trying Pintu. to. Pintu, beta. Yeah, I'm. I'm listening. You said they were equal. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Father greater than I. Which one is it? You ready for your shahada, Pintu? Come on, man. How are you gonna? How are you gonna fight? Yeah, well, thing? actually, I want to study. I mean, I need to uh, study and. Okay, study. can you admit the verse says that the Father is greater than Jesus? Peace and blessings be upon Jesus. We love him. Yes, yes. Of course, a big. Yes. So they're not. We, they're not equal then. I need to study. I said. No, no, I you need to. Yes, he is greater. So then, if he's greater, they can't. You, you understand math? If something is greater, they can't be equal, right? Yes. You can't know and not know. Yes. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to leave you guys. I got a legend here, Mr. Gracie. Where is he? Okay, yeah. So I got to go. Uh, so uh, I'm going to leave you guys. And uh, uh, we're here at Eddie's Theme Center once again. Everybody, uh, you're welcome to come and support the brother on a great project. Pintu, I leave you in the hands of these two gentlemen. Just think about what we've said, and inshallah. You're yeah, God bless you, man. All right, All right. take care, Sheikh. Jazakallah khair. All right, Pinto. Go on, Maurice. To, what a yeah, question for you. We're, we're not trying to um, do anything other than just bring your attention to what is clear and explicit. That's fine. That's fine. You showed me from the reference. I mean, from the from the book. It's okay. We know when you say that you're going to study stuff, we respect that. But when you actually study, you need to stop going to these Islamophobic and these, you know, propagandist sources. Just open up your own Bible because that is the ultimate authority to Christianity, period. Yeah, fine, fine. You even showed me from the book, right. from the Bible. That's I mean, right. what, what you need to realize, Pinto, is that, look, throughout the life of Jesus, throughout the life of every prophet in the Old and New Testament. Whom did they worship? God the Father. Exactly. How many persons is God the Father? One person. 
good. So they all, including Jesus and every prophet in the entire Bible, they all worship one Father. Whom do you worship? Yeah. Whom do you worship? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it's not. You don't worship. Yes. Honest, Whom do you worship? Be sincere. Stand firm on what you believe. That's it. That's all that it is. We have. You have to stand firm. God the Father. Okay, so you worship only God the Father, or do you worship the Trinity? I said, I will. I want to study. Okay, I no, will investigate. You studied, you're already worshiping someone, right? So you're yes, blind following yes. the church without realizing that so every, should... prophet, every prophet, every messenger in the Bible, including the disciples, including the, the apostles, they all worshipped only God the Father. And this term, the Father, is like a Hebrew term for saying Rab, like we say in Arabic, you know. So it's they're worshipping only one entity, and that is you know, God Almighty, the God of Jesus, the God of Moses, the God of uh, Abraham, uh, the God of every prophet in the in the Bible, including the prophet of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They all worshipped one true God, as Jesus says in John 17, 3, that this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. Yes, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So according to Jesus, who is the only true God? It is again the Father, right? Yes. And who sent Jesus Christ? Again the Father. So in this passage, Jesus is identifying himself as the Christ, as the Messiah, which we Muslims believe in. You know, we are not Jews. We don't reject Jesus as the Messiah. We believe. In fact, we will. We would not be Muslims if we rejected Jesus as the Christ and as the Messiah. So we, we stand firmly with the statement of Jesus Christ. This is basically the, the shahada of Jesus. Do you know that? Jesus is saying, La ilaha illallah, and his Allah is his God. And he's saying, I am the messenger, I'm the Messiah, I'm the, I'm the Christ. You see what I mean? Why would you go and become with the church like an antichrist? Because you know, antichrist is anyone who opposes Christ. And what you're doing by worshipping the Trinity, which no one in the entire Bible advocates, what you're doing is you're effectively going against the teaching of Christ and against the teaching of every single prophet in the Bible. Why would you want to jeopardize your eternal life in the hereafter by believing and worshipping a triune God? Pinto? Yeah, I said, I'm listening. So should you not worship only one true God rather than yes, a true yes. God? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I mean, you at least you're sincere. You're saying that you're going to go and study. What, have you actually looked at the Quran? Have you studied, tried to read the Quran? No. Are you an open-minded person who would be willing to? Oh, yes, sure, sure, sure. I would like to okay. have decent discussion and uh, exchanging of ideas and all. No, no. Study it by yourself. So, you know, of course we can exchange ideas. So how can we, how can I, you see, I need a guide actually, right? I need a guide, I need some sort of a guide or some teacher, like a which teacher. Of, or a... Uh, which part of India are you from, Pinto? Maharashtra. Oh, there are lots of Muslims in Maharashtra. Mumbai, you know? In all, all, not only that part, on everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> not That's south, east, west. Well, all, all of India actually, but especially in Maharashtra. So, you know, get in touch with Muslims and who actually know their scripture, you know, who, do, who know the Quran, who know the Hadith. Get in and touch with them. If you, so if I want to study, then I need a guide actually. Yes, sir, I cannot, I need to know the language of the book, right? So how? No, brother, you, what you need to do is you need to pick up a copy of it and start reading it first. You can't study something without... Can I get the English version of this, I think? Huh? English. Yeah, we can. If you want, we can send it to you. Send your details on our email. And we'll make sure we get you a copy of the Quran in English. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Or you could download um, from the website. You know, there's a yes, really, yes. really good app called uh, Green Tech. It's, it's by Green Tech. It's called uh, the website is GTAF, which is Golf Tango, Tango Alpha um, Freddy. And 
uh, yeah.org gtaf.org and you can download the app from there or we can send you hard copy if you send us your details uh, on our email which is in the bottom right corner of the screen all right pinto yes yes all right thank you for your cooperation thank you so much and, uh, thank you so much for we pray that you and helping your parents, Hidaya, and uh, we'll see you again soon yeah thank you god bless you okay bye-bye bro